from Dunton Green to Stabbing Green in Essex, where the architecture can only be called contemporary insofar as nobody ever gets tired of it. A thatched roof, perhaps more than anything else, seems to typify the beauty of English country life, life that ambles virtually unchanged from one century to the next. If you admire the Thatcher's skill, a skill that has its roots implanted in the earliest records of English history, then you'll admire the ingenuity of Mrs. Emily Kane. And if Mrs. Kane's ingenuity isn't at first apparent, we'll explain that her thatched cottage once belonged to the London North Eastern Railway. It was, in fact, a second-class railway carriage. But you'll agree it makes a first-class home. Mrs. Kane has lived here for the past 13 of her 71 years. The carriage was brought to Stebbing by its previous owner, who got it for 25 pounds from the railway yards at Stratford. It's impossible to guess its present value, but it cost Mrs. Kane 550 pounds. But in these days of inflated house prices, that's not an unreasonable sum for a home with a bedroom, kitchen, lounge and bathroom, plus running water and electricity. Mrs. Kane has called her off-the-beaten-track retreat Hillview, but her point of view is equally admirable. She thinks she couldn't be better off as an old-age pensioner because her house is comparatively cheap to run. In every sense, a home on the right lines. <laughs>